importance of starting at the end of your life and planning backwards. To make today's choices matter most, you should at least have a general idea what the finish line looks like. How can you best plan your next step if you don't have some idea where you're going? When I develop leaders, I begin by asking a lot of questions. Ones that most people never ask themselves. A few of which I'd like you to consider right now. Imagine the end of your life and work backwards. From this perspective, everything looks different. Priorities change. Lifestyles, careers, and possessions are not the goal in life, but the vehicle through which you can accomplish your purpose. They are simply a means to an end. Visualize yourself standing at your own funeral. What kind of difference would you have wanted to make? See the people standing around your casket. What would you want them to say about you? How would you want them to remember you? I believe you should plan each day from the perspective of what you want your life's impact to be. What will you do that adds value to others? What is your life's message? How will you express your deepest beliefs, values, and passions? Have you even identified what they are? Are you happy with your current beliefs and values? Are they working for you? What will you create or build that will continue to express your life's message after you're gone? To be a fearless leader, you have to know who you really are, and many people don't. To know who you really are, you need to consider where you've been. You need to reflect on the good and the bad of your life and have an understanding of how your experiences have shaped you. This kind of thinking is relatively rare. Life moves fast. It's often noisy. It's easy to avoid self-reflection for a variety of reasons. Mostly because it makes us feel vulnerable and uncomfortable. Sobering moments sometimes come. Things that wake us up and cause us to think. Accidents, terminal illnesses, the death of someone close, the kind of things that cause us to evaluate and prioritize, to decide what really matters. We begin to question, what's the meaning of life? Where am I? How did I get here? Is this where I want to be? Consider what most tombstones have in common. A name? A date of birth and a day of death? some sort of epitaph, but the most overlooked thing is actually the most important. It's that tiny dash. That's what represents the life that you lived. The time to decide what your dash looks like is right now. 
Before you move on to the next video, I'd like you to reflect and journal on the things discussed in this video. Take a few moments to answer these questions. If money weren't an issue and it was impossible for you to fail, what would you do with your life? If you had to reduce your life's contribution to a one sentence epitaph on your tombstone, what would it say? Make it as specific, clear, and concise as possible. Avoid generalities like, here lies a great man or woman. That sounds cliche, and nobody will know exactly what it means.